Hi, I'm Pete, and this is a Puzzle Masters unboxing. So this is my first ever order from Puzzle Masters, uh, which is uh, here in Canada. They're actually a couple of provinces over in Saskatchewan. Um, but uh, this puzzle, I ordered it exactly one week ago, and given that I live in a pretty remote area, um, I, I'm quite impressed with the speed of this. Now, it came Canpar, which is a, a local uh, shipping company, courier company. And um, I was actually expecting it to come Canada Post, and then I'd get it at the post office. So when I found out after they sent me the notification it was coming Canpar, I was a little nervous, but uh, it turned out to be okay. I called Canpar earlier this week and said, look, I'm, I'm not going to be home when my package comes what can I do? And they said, leave a signed note. That's what I did. And here's my package waiting for me. So as you can see, it's a humongous box. And um, and it also is a very noisy box. I don't know if you, can, if you can hear that. So this is a little unusual in that, um, you know, I, I normally... Uh, uh, get uh, twisty puzzles and um, this is definitely a box of puzzles and mm, Probably not really twisty puzzles, but still some cool puzzles So the backstory here is that I was at Walmart last Friday and I was waiting for somebody and um, So like like I've done all my life from the time I could pretty well walk um, I was waiting for somebody and then taking my, my time going to the toy aisle in Walmart. Well, of course, right? What else would you do? Um, so I found in the toy aisle of this, this um, puzzle that just fascinated me. And um, I really wanted to get it at the time, but unfortunately, um, I, being an adult, um, okay, I have a packing list. Uh-oh. Okay, well, um, either because uh, it sounds correct so i'm hoping i just got someone else's packing list that's kind of funny um anyway so this is i decided to go and, and order that puzzle and of course then once i found out the chipping was going to be 15 bucks um i had to get another puzzle to to make it worthwhile and so here's what we have Oops. all right let's see if we can i'm not even set up to do such a humongous unboxing look at this okay this a phenomenal here. I don't know if you can see what that is. Uh, how do I do this without getting packing peanuts? So there's one of the puzzles. <laughs> I think I'm going to be a wash in packing peanuts. And there's the other puzzle right there. And I'm going to have to just kind of... <laughs> oh, this is funny. Okay, so... Indeed, I got someone else in packing this but uh, my uh, proper uh, puzzle, so that's okay. Whoa. All right. Let's see what I got. There's one of the puzzles, they're pretty big, and there's the other puzzle. I think the wrapper fell off of it. Whoa, okay, that's way bigger than I expected. <laughs> this, is, this is great. All right, I don't know if you can see that. Um, so this is the one I saw in uh, Walmart, this puzzle. And uh, let me just uh, see if I can uh, zoom in a little bit here. So this is the Perplexus. And um, it, uh, so it says 100 challenging barriers. It says difficulty level 6. Um, let's see, ages 6 and up. So, you know, and I think that's probably probably about right. Let's see if I can uh, zoom in just, just a bit more. Um, choking hazard, small parts. Toy contains a small ball, not for children under three years. Well, yeah, that makes sense. I don't think a, a child under three could really uh, do much. Just, just physically uh, manipulating a puzzle. Okay. Exclusively distributed by, okay, PlaySmart. So, made in China, Perplexus. And then it has their website. Now this is what kind of reeled me into this whole deal. Because when I got done with the Walmart, and I wasn't able to get the uh, the puzzle at Walmart, I went to their website and then I saw videos. And and anyway, I was 
I was hooked. So Perplexus Original and then um, Perplexus.net. Check us out online. And uh, so here you go. So this is the, the instructions here. Um, and so basically it, it, you, it says how to play. You roll a ball to one of the starting points. If you can't find them, put Perplexus down and slowly back away. I don't know what that exactly means. There's the starting points right there. So how does this work? Well, let me, let me open up the actual uh, thing. I, oh, I need my knife again. So this is as far as I got. In the store, in Walmart, I was just playing with this just in the box. And uh, so now I have my own and I can open it up. So I'm going to be careful. I don't want to damage the, the puzzle. So I understand that uh, quite a few twisty puzzles have gotten these things. So if, if you haven't seen one of these before, it's a, it's a rolling ball maze, but it's a three-dimensional rolling ball maze. And uh, the maze has all sorts of obstacles and challenges, and um, and it just it just seems kind of cool. Now, don't worry, I haven't given up twisty puzzle uh, uh, solving by any stretch, but uh, you know I am kind of interested in in this sort of thing. Um, I like the idea. Of, oh, I didn't. Looks. I like the idea of um, you know, trying different things in a physical a puzzle that has a lot more uh, physical actions than just turning um, faces all the time. Now, what I see here, it looks like there's some sort of holder in, in here. So I just I don't want it to roll away. I know this desk desk is a lot better than my other one, but uh, okay. Okay, so let me just kind of see. So there, there's the box. That's it. Um, that's all. Uh, I think that's pretty good. All right. So yeah. So they give you a little stand here from the looks of things, and it looks like I'm going to need it. Wow. Okay. Oh my, I didn't. Okay, so let me open up the stand. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pretty pleased here. I was, uh, you now Puzzle Masters Canadian Puzzle Shop. They sell twisty puzzles. Um, they sell, uh, you know, just, just the usual twisty puzzles and uh, wire puzzles and, and uh, uh, packing puzzles, burrs, wooden puzzles. Okay, so, so the way this works then is there's a ball. I don't know if you can see it. There's a ball, a ball bearing. And then you kind of start it at one, and you got these numbers, okay. So there you go. So I'm at uh, number one now. Whoop! And I've just I've just sort of started it, and then you just kind of you roll it along, and then you get to this point, and then you kind of have to turn around. And you notice that you you now had to turn it 90 degrees, and then you go here, and now you have to turn it some more. So I imagine a good light would be necessary to do this. Well, obviously there's a certain amount of dexterity. And look, I can see like this, this little cup here is swinging. I don't know if, I guess that's the normal thing. And you got some parts um, of the maze where there's no rails. And I, this looks incredible. This actually looks a lot harder than it did in the store when I could only see part of it. And I can only see part of it in the store. Okay, and I see there's a little, a little scrape on the, the glass or the plastic, but it's okay. I don't think it affects it at all. So that's a perplexus. Well, I don't know what possessed me because this looks scary and hard enough, but of course, I had to also order the epic perplexus, which apparently is even harder than a regular perplexus. So there's the epic perplexus, and uh, it's uh, it obviously it, this says difficulty level eight. So what did the other one say? Five. So it's three levels more difficult on a scale of, well, we don't really know. Um, age is eaten up. Uh, same uh, choking hazard, right? And it says uh, commence EC. And uh, so it means, oh, okay, and it has an English. Uh, start here. Um, and uh, let's see. Well, at least I can read some of the writing on this box of uh, different languages. Um, and then it has the other perplexus models. And uh, and then the usual thing. So it shows some of the some of the, the um, obstacles up here. Let me see if I can 
adjust my lighting a little better here. So it shows, for example, this is the serpentine, and then the gondola, the lawn tramp, and the Escher stairs. Wow, Escher stairs. That would be really kind of uh, frightening, I think, to, to try. So this is the uh, this is the, the bigger, uh, more advanced model. And uh, well, let's take it out and see. Might as well, eh? So, uh, now this is not the sort of thing I could travel with or go on an airplane. <laughs> Imagine sitting beside someone. Um, of course, the first little bump you hit, I think you'd lose your place, maybe. A uh, little air turbulence or something. Okay, so I'm just kind of opening this box here. So, yeah, this is not the sort of thing you want to do. And, and I don't even think, like, if I took this to work and I was, you know, playing on my lunch hour or, or something, <laughs> I think that might make a lot of noise. Somebody might come and break my perplexus on me. Um, but still, it's, uh, I think it's a lot of fun, and that noise is you know, kind of, sort of an interesting aspect of, of it, I think. Okay. Okay, so, um, hmm. I'm just trying to be careful because I just don't want to break anything and scratch anything. Alright, so there we are. And so, yeah, this one has a, uh, that... That nice um, holder as well. That's good. It has a uh, very big uh, ring around it. And you see the color scheme is a little different on this one. Perplexus Epic. And uh, wow, this one looks even more complicated. Now, apparently they have another model, which is a beginner or junior or something like that. Let me, let me take a look here. Whoa. And, uh, okay. Okay, due to Epic's sculptural nature please handle with care what's well, that's interesting okay so be very careful with it <laughs> I hope everyone who's handled it so far has been careful with it okay so and it's the same ring so there's not a special ring for the uh, for the epic one it's just the same one so there we are um, so the the um, so the perpexix epic doesn't have three starting points it just has the one so you just start, I guess you just start there. And, uh, wow, that's, uh, whoops. No. Oh. Uh, I think I managed to get the little ball bearing trapped. <laughs> uh, yes, I have. Oh, I see something's sort of flipping around here. Anyway, the ball bearing is just right over here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um... Oh, oh, I, oh, there it is. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So, there we are. So, that's the ball right at its starting point. And, um, and so then I would just, uh, just go and play it like that. Ah, I'm really, really kind of jazzed about these. So, those are my two new puzzles. And, uh, rolling ball puzzles, I guess. And, uh, that's, uh, but... Don't worry, I'll be back to Twisty Puzzles before long. Uh, this is just a little uh, sideline. And I think there's only uh, four of these so far. So it's not like I can uh, get a big uh, accumulation of these. All right, well, that's it uh, for me. Uh, as always, I appreciate your comments. Uh, so feel free to leave comments and uh, suggestions and questions. Uh, I know the YouTube commenting system has, has gotten a little... Got a little crazy <laughs> lately, but I, I'd appreciate it anyway, and uh, you know, give it a try. And uh, you know, I'm sure that uh, I'm sure everything's going to get sorted out. I know there were some some difficulties. All right, well, uh, until next time, thanks for watching.